I've made a visit down to Wagga today. I thought it would be absolutely worthwhile to catch up with the newest independent that we have in our state parliament, Joe McGurr. So thanks for your time today, Joe. It's been a great conversation we've been having about a whole range of things. And for you, it's, you're really breaking new ground here. In Dubbo, of course, we've had two independents. We had Tony McGrain, 1993 to 2004, and then Dawn Fardell from 2004 to 2011. You've broken a 61-year stranglehold here in Wagga, and congratulations and well done. But the power of the independent, that's the thing I'm continually asked about. What is the power of the independent? You've already been in there. What do you see that power of the independent? Well, I think there is a real power to, to the independent representing an electorate. Uh, I think you can take issues directly from the electorate to the government. You don't go through the party. Uh, you can connect people, as I say, directly to ministers, raise those issues, and you're not also constrained by the party structure. You're not told what to think. You're not told how to vote. When people bring an issue to you, you can assess those issues on their merits and weigh them up, think them through, um, and as I say, raise those issues to the government. You don't have to negotiate the corridors of power within the party and the party structures. So there's a real power to that. And I think people are looking for an alternative, uh, particularly in regional areas. They've been looking for an alternative to the Conservative parties in particular. And they look at independents who are committed and passionate and who really think through the issues. And I think they like that and they like being represented by those people. I hope that's the case here. Um, the networks that, I, that, that independents can have can support each other, but of course they remain completely independent. That's, that's absolutely important. And they can take those issues straight to government. Right. No, and that's, that's really important. And I think that what you're talking about there is people want to be represented. They don't want a party making decisions. What I've heard as I've travelled around my electorate is they want someone that they feel confidence in that they're going to go and say, I want you to put the best foot forward for this electorate. They, it's about them. It's, it's, the people in the electorate want their concerns and their issues raised. It's about them. It's not about the party. And so often what you see is game playing, party politics, and I think that really annoys people. They expect uh, their local member to represent them. They expect them to be on the job. They don't want them mucking around in the cesspool of party politics. And that's sometimes what happens. So I think there's a power of independence, and I think that's now emerging, and I think uh, people, people are liking that. Well, good luck for next year. Obviously, I'm trying my best to get to where you are now, and, and I hope you're elected again. Obviously, I hope I'm elected, and it'll be an absolute pleasure if I can get to, to work with you next year as two independents amongst a fairly large group of independents that may end up in Parliament next year. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Time, good, on you. good on you.